This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Good. Good afternoon. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii's Movers, Shakers, and Reformers. I'm uh, sorry. Good afternoon. Welcome to Think Tech Hawaii's Movers, Shakers, and Reformers Politics in Hawaii series. I'm your host, Carl Campagna. Um, we all know, those of us who live in Hawaii, all know that we are a state of islands. And of the islands, there are, it's broken up into counties, and each county has a mayor, and that's the basic construct. Not everybody is aware of that. A lot of people say, oh, Hawaii, it's, it's Hawaii, and they don't know the difference. Um, I'm very excited and very proud today to introduce my guest for today's show, and that is current mayor, Bernie Carvalho, mayor of Kauai. We're going to talk about Kauai. We're going to talk about what he's been able to accomplish there, and we're going to learn a bit about him as well. Um, and just so that you're aware, we're going to talk a bit about the Aloha Plus Challenge and what that can really mean and some things that have been done there. So thank you for joining us. And again, I introduce Mayor Bernie Carvalho. Thank you so much for joining Aloha. us. Aloha, Thank you so much for the opportunity. Happy to be here. Ha oh, Ready thrilled. to talk story. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Well, then let's talk. So first of all, let's start by telling us a bit. A lot of people know who you are. A lot mm -hmm. of people want to know who mm -hmm. is Bernie Carvalho. So tell us a bit about you and what you've been up to leading up to where you are right now and what you've been able to accomplish. So it, it's, it, we'll, we'll go into yeah. the conversation. Let's I mean, start with you. you know, Born and raised on Kauai, um, graduated from Kapa'a High School, uh, had the opportunity to receive a full athletic scholarship to the University of Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Yes. And really had a great time at the university um, and then graduated and got drafted in the seventh round by the Miami Dolphins. That's right. So I went there for a little while and had the opportunity to, of course, take that path. And then returned back to California and where I met my wife, Regina. And we've been married for 32 years now. Oh, beautiful. Uh, nice. We have three uh, children, or well, adults right now. My oldest son, Bronson, lives in Portland. He's married. My second son, Brennan, took that path of uh, football. So he's in arena football right now, living oh, wow. in Philadelphia. Oh, my. So he's been kind of doing his thing there. And then Great. my daughter is back home, Brittany, and she's a school teacher. So education, education, very important. Where does she teach? She teaches Kapa'a Elementary School. Okay. And then I have two grandchildren. Uh, my granddaughter is Felina, and she is eight years old, going to be eight. And my little grandson, Nahoa, who is going to be three. And my wife is a registered nurse. So that kind of completes the family right there. That's amazing. <laughs> See, that now, first of all, I thank your daughter for being a teacher. And yes. For her service. Teachers need much more attention. I was just in her classroom. We always help her get ready for yeah, the yeah, new yeah. school year. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, mom, dad, everybody help put up signs and all that stuff that we need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My point is our teachers work very hard after hours. After hours. Before hours. Getting everything prepped. So exactly. mahalo and love all you teachers. Love the teachers. They okay. do so much work and they work so much harder, they as do. you just pointed out, than anybody. <sighs> it's not just when the kids show up to the time they leave and then they're done. They have to prepare and Many of these teachers, as you just mentioned, out of their own pockets, right. provide Out of supplies. their own pockets, and I know because I'm the dad of a teacher. Yes, so. exactly. And now that's a big thing. That's a big key we need to make sure. We, education is the difference maker. Right. We need to make sure that our educators have everything they Correct. need in the and classrooms. And all the resources that they yes. need. So anyway, that's, that's okay. some so of that's, my personal stuff. Okay, Thank you. I love that. <laughs> so, okay. so then now, moving on, right? Yes. So now, how did I become mayor? Yes, you know, when, so, when did you become mayor well, and how did that happen? Well, when I got back home, I was hired by the county of Kauai. So I worked as a civil servant for 17 years in the department. Well, it wasn't the department. It was Division of Parks and Recreation. Okay. And during my tenure there, if you will, uh, moving 17 years as a civil servant and then moving into the department head for six years on the Mayor Baptiste. So it's from here to here. And with that time, we're able to gain all the experience and form the new Department of Parks and Recreation. So we were able to form the entire department, have all that experience in that kind of for the thinking. County? For, for the, the county. county of Kauai, we're a division on the public works, but felt that 85% of everything that we did, knowing I was, came to work as a civil servant, right? A lot of the things happened, uh, depended on the other departments, so yeah. we formed a new department. That's excellent. And so I worked there for 17 years, and then, like I said, Mayor Baptiste came into office and joined his team as a department head. So I leave civil service, 
take that risk now as the department head yeah. and the offices of community assistance and did that for six years. And then, unfortunately, Mayor, our dear friend and good, good um, family friend as well, passed away in office. Our Mayor Baptiste passed away. Uh, two years in his second year term, second term. And from that came the opportunity brought to me from the family if I would consider running oh, the last wow. two years. So it was a special election in 2008. Now, he was planning things, love him dearly, <laughs> but the family and I talked, long story short, we ran in two months' time, we put a whole campaign together. And Which is a lot to do. It's a lot, to do. it's a lot I to do. I remember my daughter folks doing all the signs in my garage with <laughs> paint and because we didn't have enough time. So the beautiful signs with flowers and all that stuff. But yeah. that was the best. And then we became mayor in 2008 and then fulfilled the two years and then ran again in 2010 and became mayor for four years and then 2014. Yeah. And now we're kind of winding down. Winding down. So, and you're termed out at 2018. I turn right? out 2018 and it'll be 10 years. So when I'm done wow. with this whole service to the people of Kauai and yeah. Nihau, yeah. service I say, in this different level. Let's, let's highlight that. Service to the people service, of Kauai service. and Nihau. <laughs> I'm a servant. Okay. And um, so from that point, I, uh, well, I'm winding down for next year. For, for I'll be married 10 years. So I'll, wow. I'll have like 30, 36 years total when I'm done. Wow. In, in this path and looking forward to another opportunity. Sure, learn. as they come along, as they come along. And, and so that's I, the story. That's extraordinary. So th thank you for so much service to the people, to the people yeah. of Kauai. Um, I, as I as mentioned off air earlier, I have family. I have family yes, on Kauai yes. as well. So I've always had, I've grown a, a love for the island of Kauai myself. Um, as I mentioned uh, again off air, the several times that I have visited, it's the only place, it's the only island that I go to, and I'm a city boy, really. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. from Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, it's the only island that I go to. As soon as I get off the plane, there's a peace and there's a calm that, that just, I think, exists as an energy there. Um, I don't know how you did that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, you know, it's, it's a place. It's a garden island. It's a, we're the yeah. oldest island, by the way. Everybody yes. knows that right, in yes. the whole state. So, And a lot of our kupuna, a lot of our um, hula, and the ancient hula and chant started on Kauai. See, no, so a lot of our history, kupuna, yeah, they come back, yeah. and there's a special place, Kiahu uh, Alakaheyao, on the North Shore of Ireland, where a lot of our kumuhula come to just kind of reconnect before yeah. they do a performance. Or before they were, so the cultural part is very important yes. in all of our the statewide it's important Absolutely. so we always got to remember to recognize the, the culture and the past yeah. so it, it makes the future more bright for everybody excellent uh, no i it, it, it's it's been a place in my heart ever since the first time i arrived there I'm like wow this is a whole different the, the chickens are one thing the chickens okay but yeah. aside from the chickens i mean <laughs> and i'm okay with them okay uh, but aside from the chickens it's just always had a great feel so uh, it's just a wonderful wonderful place i highly recommend visiting but be polite uh, <laughs> um, so okay, so in the ten years okay. that you've been mayor, yes, or about about to be ten yeah, years, yeah. what will you look back on as some of your greatest achievements? Well, we'll start there. Some of your greatest achievements or things that you've been striving to achieve. Let's look at it that way uh, during your term. Well, I think the the big thing uh, for Kauai was really reaching out into the into the public, into the community, and being able to be, um, I would say we got to listen and hear instead of tell. And you got to be able to, I always tell our, our team members that we got to take care of the emotional side and everything that we do up front and foremost. So that means talk to the people, listen to them, hear what they're saying, but somebody has to make the decision and I'll make the decision. There you go. But I want to make sure that everybody, whatever it is, could be transportation, could be education, could be environment, you know, all the different key parts of our community, right. um, roads and all of that. Um, but we always go out, we meet, we have community. I'm always out in community meeting, uh, small group meetings, things. but the bottom line is reaching out and then come back with some good solid information that we've had to done in-house and then make the decision. And so that has been the path or the template that we've used uh, till today. I think that's, I personally appreciate that template because that's mm -hmm. you going out and reaching out to mm -hmm. people and listening to what they have to say and then you try to incorporate try them, sometimes right? it's difficult but you know so that's that's a leadership style yeah. right yeah um, and that's leadership so you've taken that and mm -hmm. that's how you proceed with what you do and mm -hmm. i think that's extraordinary now 
from that leadership perspective, sometimes you have to deliver not bad news, but different yeah, news. No, no. Different mm -hmm. news. Like, I, I know the community wants this. So how have you, and this, is maybe, this might be the toughest question I ask you, how have you encountered and worked with the communities to overcome those challenges? You know, working in government for a long time and coming in this role as mayor, felt it was my responsibility to really create a solid team, surround yourself with good people first and help them to tear down all these walls and silos. And so my point is that when you have parks and recreation director working with the planning director and planning director working with housing and housing work, I mean, everybody, we, we, we surround the project as a team. Yeah. There's no, I do this, I do that. We do it together. Yeah. And I'm kind of like the captain or the coach yeah. watching and say, okay, wait now, who's at the table? Who needs to do what? What resources do we need to bring to the table from wherever we need to go, whether it be from them? Or who else needs to or be who at else the table. To need, yeah, to call into the, yeah. the table. Yeah. So that, ha that was number one. And then from that, you have to come up with a vision. So in 2010, my first full year, full four year term, I came up with the whole whole of 2020 vision. And in that, it was I identified 38 projects, 38 projects that came from my meeting with people, from my and our going out into community and hearing what the people's concerns or needs were and created this whole whole of vision. So that vision was to jump on board, whole whole, right? And let's go. And we're going to look at each project. We even de develop a brand internal brand of the project so nobody would forget <laughs> team members everybody would see this logo on any document or any sheet of paper that dealt with that particular project like housing my my it was a, it's, it's a big one for me like we've yeah. completed kaneko first um right in lihui area right in our town core and but the model that i wanted to have in that particular project which we finished is two bedroom units and the two bedroom units was set aside for our kupuna to age in place but you age with your loved one you age with your daughter your son your niece your nephew instead of having an agency come in yeah. that was the model for this kaneko um at, at rice camp at kaneko and that exists now yeah we, we we worked on that model our housing agency of course and a total team effort and we were able to um complete that project right in the Lihui area. So how, that many, how many homes? There's uh, 60 units. 60 units. And so like I said, there's a mix of one bedroom, two bedroom. Yeah. But the model we wanted to try is, um, like I said, you know, having a kupuna age with a loved one. So Which that is, that's such an important. Build like that. Absolutely. Uh, yes. yes. Yes, it would. Uh, that's uh, having, having experienced with my family, with my parents, where we've had to go through, okay, care homes yeah. or hospice care, and, and, and how long can we have them be at home? How long can we be able to maintain them? There needs to be inevitably a collaboration with their health care, the, the providers, um, end of life concerns and considerations and how you adjust that. There needs to be a collaboration, right. but having the ability, and this is what everybody asked for, right? Having the ability to be able to do that and, and have it still be part of Ohana, have it still be home. Right. Right? right if you can achieve that so you've been able to do that in 60 homes for 60 families yeah. that's that's amazing so yeah so that happened there and then uh in my whole whole of delivery i said in talking about transportation yeah every single bus stop on this island will have a bus shelter now it sounds so yeah, it might be kind of small no. no it's important a lot of our guys are standing out in the elements right so i made that that commitment on stage in 2010. Today as we sit here, we just went out to bid for the final last. Oh, so, did it. you come to Kauai, you'll see our bus uh, shelters up on all the you know, bus That's shelter excellent. areas. That's and, excellent. See? And wait, 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 wait. Oh. And each bus shelter has LED lighting. <laughs> so you have to incorporate, come on, the green movement. Yes, yes absolutely. And people are happy. I mean, you know, we made that commitment. It took a lot of time and effort working closely with our legislative team yes, yes. as well. So, you, again, partnership. It's not just me. Right. It's we. Right. And we work together. It's but you've got to come up with Kauai a vision. As well as the state, right? Yes. Yeah. i got to yeah, make yeah. sure that's clear. That's right. right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> and that, because that's true. Yeah. And then you just make it happen. Yeah. And the first shelter was done by a Filipino community group 
did a labor for free for love. Oh. When you start with love, yeah, any just everything else just flows. Everything see? happens. So that's yeah. true. That's how it started with the first one. Then everything else was was done through the process. Excellent, excellent. That's amazing. We we are at the break. We have to oh, take a okay. quick break, so it goes really quickly. Um, so thank you. That's congratulations, and thank you for that work. There's okay. going to be a whole lot more we're going to talk about. Okay. We're going to come back in our next segment, and we're going to talk. This is where we're going to jump into that green side. So it was a great segment to start getting into the green conversation where we talk about the Aloha Plus Challenge. So thank you for joining us. This is Think Tech Hawaii's Movers, Shakers, and Reformers Politics in Hawaii series. I'm your host, Carl Campagna. Welcome again to our show with Mayor Bernie Carvalho. We'll see you in one minute. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, which streams live on thinktechhawaii.com, uploads to YouTube, and broadcasts on cable OC16 and Olelo 54. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Freedom. Is it a feeling? Is it a place? Is it an idea? At Dive Heart, we believe freedom is all of these and more, regardless of your ability. Dive Heart wants to help you escape the bonds of this world and defy gravity. Since 2001, Dive Heart has helped children, adults, and veterans of all abilities go where they have never gone before. Dive Heart has helped them transition to their new normal. Search DiveHeart.org and share our mission with others. And in the process, help people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their lives. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii's Movers, Shakers, and Reformers Politics in Hawaii series. I'm your host, Carl Campagna. And once again, welcome to the show, Mayor Bernie Carvalho. Once again, I appreciate it. Mahalo again, Carl. Very Today happy we're to talking be with about, you. Now, again, this is Mayor Bernie Carvalho from, from Kauai. He is mayor of Kauai and mm -hmm. Niihau. And it's an important area, one of the oldest islands we were, yeah. all, we were reminded of. So um, with that, one of the things, and an important thing that came out of this, and what I wanted to get into that, that I'll jump into now, is the concept of leadership. If you listened to or watched that last segment, you heard what leadership sounds like, in my opinion. You heard how a civil servant, someone who wants to be there for service, reaches out to the communities and listens mm -hmm. and takes their input in and builds a team and then moves that team in the direction with a vision to achieve the goals for the community. To me, that is civil servant leadership, servant leadership, period. Um, and I appreciate that. So what I want to do here is, once again, welcome. Yeah. Very happy. I'll shake your hand as often as I can because <laughs> your energy well, is, is wonderful. I'm happy to be here, Carl. Uh, what I want to hear from you is your take on leadership in politics in Hawaii. Okay. Where do you come from? Well, just kind of focusing on one area, and I want to talk about the Aloha Plus Challenge. Yes. Is that okay? Absolutely. And that, to me, covers the entire state. And that six areas of um, the challenge, we as uh, mayors took on that challenge from, from different levels, right, from the governors all the way down to us. And in that six areas, I have one or two projects I wanted to touch on because it's important. You think about clean energy okay you talk about local food production yes you talk about um, um, green jobs and green you know employment green jobs right. and, and, green education. and green education then you talk about natural resource management right and then you move into uh, waste reduction solid waste reduction solid waste, waste reduction think right. about that and then the last one of course would be smart growth principles. How do you incorporate a sustainable kind of thinking? Right. So these are the six areas, right? Yeah. So in clean energy, number one, we're the first county to transform all, and I, this is working in partnership, and nothing can happen, folks, without true, true partnership. We signed an MOU with KIUC, done. That showed partnership. Yes. Moved forward, we did a lot of projects, but the most recent one was transforming all of our street lights into LED lighting, done. So in addition so all of our to your bus Yes, so now you do the street lights. Yeah. But we do a little piece here, 
You do a little piece here, and we share, yeah. right? In in the in the benefits for the people. That's how that So that's number be. one. It's like clean that's energy, be, right? Clean energy. Okay. Number two, local food local food production. Okay. We took seventy five acres of land in Kilauea, and gave that. I'm gonna say, we county council and us back to the people. You, we have the land, we have the infrastructure, the water, and all of that. You go grow what you want to do. You manage the land. You figure out how you're gonna divvy out who gets what community does and we kind of understand and watch and be a resource mm -hmm. to the people see local fruit production yeah green jobs the next one right mm -hmm. we went out and got a grant uh with the uh, with the labor with the local labor labor of enforcement to our economic development development office and created this internship summer internships long story short these interns came in we placed them out in our various um farms, uh, tropical flower farm, taro farm, all the different ag uh, businesses, and we placed them in the various farms as interns, which led to our commitment and dedication working closely with the Department of Education to bring back what? The Future Farmer Program. Mm. We started with one school with only four or five kids, and now we have 36 kids to our economic development office, proud to say we started again, we brought it back, now you take it and run with it. So I'm happy, we're, we're building or creating new farmers of the future. Which is huge. And That's huge. See, I was a future farmer, but my problem was I couldn't, I was so big, I couldn't fit in those, those corduroy jackets. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. But I remember you, anyway, there's a, there's a creed. But let, let's move on. So that's for education, yeah. right? Yeah. The re natural resource management. It's important for us to remember where we come from. We've come out with a signage program on Kauai. If you drive on our island now, you're going to see signage from each moku. The moku of Halalea, the moku of Ko'olau, the moku of Puna, the moku of Kona, the moku of um, Napali and Niihau. It's all identified with the fish, the color, and the plant that represents that moku. Wow. It's important for all of us statewide to understand where we come from. You have to, what grew in one moku didn't grow in the other moku. Right. What water flowed here didn't flow here. So you gotta make your decisions of today based upon the past so the present can move and the future can flourish. So See, that's a natural resource environment, right? Now, what I hear there also, and I just wanna throw this in and get your thoughts here, is what I hear and what I, over and over again, the, the history I have been given is the way Native Hawaiians operated yes the ahupua'a yes that is in many ways it's wait hold on the moku first okay is the land division the ahupua'a is within the moku okay got okay. it okay got it, got just, it. just clarify it's great We're to get, good. no, no. Okay. Okay. thank you thank so you. good okay the the what i find wonderful and a little ironic is as we are looking at how to be more sustainable on these islands we are realizing how we need to go back to these native Hawaiian roots mm -hmm. and methods in order to achieve these. So it is on their shoulders and it is through their spirit that we are able to, right? And you're asking permission every exactly. step of the way. The government. Thank you. Thank you. Asking, okay? Yeah. So I want to finish. So we are, Please, we are I'm the sorry. Next I next next was next yeah. So the, the next <laughs> one <laughs> is waste reduction. Yes. We're the first county to come out and complete a pay as you throw program. Okay. So that means encouraging people in the homes to recycle, reuse, reduce, recycle, right? Because you only have one size bin. You can pay for the bin, smaller size, large size. And we, the county, of course, picks up that one bin from your home and go. So it's pay as you throw. That's okay. done. Okay. okay. We're also the first county to come with a plastic bag ban, which yeah. we started back right. then. We'll leave that at that. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And the last which, one. It's now moving. Smart yes. growth principles, right? We secured a 13 point eight million dollar tiger grant which comes from the national level the federal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, funding to transform the heart of Kauai Lihue into walkable bikeable complete streets safe routes to school light across routes connected community we just got roundabouts and connected and walk bike paths so we're already moving towards the blessing of this grant that we recently got that was going to help us move and be very sustainable. Yeah. So you notice under each one of those Aloha Plus challenge areas, where yeah, yeah. I just want to identify one project that we're not thinking about, we're doing it. Yeah. And there's many more, but I'm going to do only one, right? Because of the time. Time, right. So that kind of completes that wheel yeah. overall uh, and our commitment to the statewide vision. 
that we Kauai have incorporated and took seriously and are moving on it. And I wanted to make sure that we had enough time yeah. to share that wheel, which ties right back to the Lokahi wheel. I don't have time for that. that but yeah, yeah. You can come back for that one, but absolutely. So, okay. That, <laughs> there's too much that can be said about all that. So, okay. So you took it seriously. You yes, took this commitment took seriously. It, yeah. We. As, as an island. And, uh, and each community within the island took the commitment seriously and you found projects that were in alignment with each of the principles of the Aloha Plus Challenge. Exactly. And you have pursued those, if not to completion, to near completion. Correct. And, and that is creating a model that is sustainable. And you've done, now, and you've done that, and, and here's, here's one question I have. You defined as an island, I say you, I mean the island, we, the yeah. island defined the island did. what that was going to mean. You yes. weren't told no. by state, no. you're going to do this. You said, this is what we will accomplish. This is how we will accomplish. We, this is how we will do our part for the state. Yeah. And, and have, you, have you had, and I know that I know the answer is yes in some ways, but have you had mutual conversations with mayors from other islands to talk about how to even work together with, with shared successes and, and, and failures? Definitely. We as mayors meet once a month. We're state separated by ocean, but we're connected, all of us. So mm -hmm. we all have our individual charm and character of our individual islands, each, uh, each uh, county. Yeah. And so we share different thoughts. And in fact, what we're doing now is having our staff, our team members meet with team members from the neighbor islands, okay. take this one model and share it with the next island. And that's what we're doing now. Excellent, excellent. We are at that point. Okay. We're in our last two minutes. So we now want to transition to our last piece for this show, uh, the Hukilau. Okay, so. In closing, the Hukilau. We did it live in October of last year. Bottom line, taking a cultural practice very well practiced in the past culturally, Hawaiian practice, which is the hukilau. Mm -hmm. And the hukilau, just in short, simple terms, we lay the nets together, we pull the nets in together, and you share in a catch. Okay? So we actually did that in October. Our, my team and myself, our department has got together to prep the nets with the lao, which is the tea leaf yeah. that you tie along the net. So we prepped all that one day. The next day, and guess what? Community took the lead. We went back to our kupuna. Do you take the lead in pulling this whole, and you know what? It wasn't about catching as much fish versus the practice, the practice. and teaching. We had people from New York and Chicago and California and down the street, down the road, take it. We recreated a cultural practice that taught people how to strengthen community. Yes. Before, when you were hanging clothes, that you heard hukila, you run down to the beach. So weren't that much but overall <laughs> we did this in October we completed it I have it on video because I wanted to document yeah. uh, and I see that in the bigger picture as well that yeah. we need to continue to bridge and connect the culture and this practice of the hukila everybody has a role yes and I have that wheel which we share the next time yes, we can and I have my other wheel that I can share they're going to overlay over the Aloha Plus challenge culturally Excellent. but the hukila is bringing community and strengthening community to a cultural practice that happened in the past. I think that's so important, especially today, when so many people are in their phones, so many people are on yes. the internet, so many people are focused on, we've always been focused on our own lives, always. Uh, it's so important now to have the opportunities to say, you know what, let's remember we're a community, we rely on each other. Mm -hmm. I need you, you need me. We work together, we achieve, we thrive. I love that. Right. So thank you for doing that, and thank you for sharing that with us. So you did that last October? October, yes. Are you going to be doing that again? Well, what we did was we documented that. Okay. And so the next piece of that, you know, you, you do things, and then you hope community will jump. If yeah. the community now says, man, we want to do one on the, this side of our island, I say, let's go. All right. You guys take the lead. We'll follow through. I want to help statewide. Be people inspire them to take the lead. I think it's that's not wonderful. the government. We need to be there to provide the resources. The resources that's the for people. the communities. I mean, there's things that we got to stand strong. You know, don't yeah. get me wrong. And I'm totally, when I got to make a decision, I'll do it. But it has to be vetted out. Yeah. And I have to have a good conversation with the community first. Yeah. But we need to also empower community. Yeah. 
Yeah. So by doing things like this, let them, if they tell me they want to do a hukila on the west side of the island, we got all the components, we got all the history, we'll bring the kupuna from you know the other side and teach. Let's do it. That's excellent. And That's so, excellent. yeah. Let well, the I, we, we, are, we are unfortunately oh, at the end of our okay. show. So what I'll, what I'll add to that is um, I've had the good fortune of being a part of a board and stone class for this whole summer. Oh, okay. So we've been learning and we've been carving and we've been shaping and we've been working as a family on that. So that's another thing working together through Kamehameha Schools. Uh, oh. So the, the families and everyone has come together for that is an extraordinary thing. So it's not the same as you mentioned, but I'm, I, I have that same feeling from what you're saying <laughs> from that. So it's Can I wonderful. close with something fast? Please, close. You can take the, the closing words. The Thank closing you. words because of the Hokulea and yeah. the connection, oh. right? The Hokulea, yes. love the, the most greenest festival in the whole wide world. Yes. This is it, folks. We can't change the direction of the wind, but we can adjust our sails to our destination. And let's look at that collectively. And I tell you, we have everything to look forward to for our beautiful Hawaii. Thank you Absolutely. so much, Carl. No, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate the conversation. Mahalo. Thank you for joining us. This is Think Tech Hawaii's Mover, Shakers, and Reformers Politics and Hawaii series. I'm your host, Carl Campagna. Thank you to Mayor Bernie Carvalho. High five. We will see you next time. Done. <laughs>